three pieces of advice I wish someone told me when I started my weight loss journey. After working out and being on some sort of health and fitness journey for the last 10 years, I've learned so much. And today I wanna to tell you three things I wish I knew sooner and that I wish I understood sooner so I didn't get caught up, I didn't let it hold me back, and I share this with you so you don't have to experience those same things. The first piece of advice I wish I knew sooner was that this would be a very, very, very long journey. And the beautiful part, and also the most challenging part, is that there truly is no end. This isn't about the destination. This is about the journey. And eventually, when you actually can understand and learn that, you're less focused on the goal. You're less focused on the mirror. You're less focused on the outcome. And you're more focused on the journey along the way. Finding joy in showing up for yourself. Finding joy in loving who you are in the process. And becoming happy with where you are going. What matters less is the actual destination. I'm sure you've probably heard a ton of people repeat, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a marathon, not a sprint. But it really is. And I think that's really hard to conceptualize, to really understand. And I say that because trying to zoom out and really think back to when I first started, I didn't really understand what that meant. And how I look at it now is that what you need to fall in love with or what you should start to find joy in is the details and doing the things that you probably don't really like now, but knowing that over time, as you get good at them, as you improve them, you're going to find joy in it. So when it comes to the journey, I think the one little piece of advice I'd give you is if you can't do it for a decade, don't do it for a day. If it's not something you can actually stick to, don't even do it. And you'll be amazed because those things that you are willing to do for a decade will evolve over time. I wasn't willing to do barbell squats for a decade when I started, but now I love them. I wasn't willing to eat 175 grams of protein every day when I first started, but I fell in love with eating high amounts of protein because I realized how good it makes me feel. So let that one sink in as I move on to number two. Really quick, before I move forward, can you take a moment to follow, like, subscribe this video or whatever platform you're listening to this on? It would mean the absolute world to me. The second piece of advice is remember that we're human. You and I are human. And what does that even mean? That means we're going to make mistakes. I'm sure you've heard or even said yourself, I'm a perfectionist, I wanna be perfect. I don't wanna start till life is perfect. I don't wanna do things till everything's perfect or I don't know the perfect plan or structure. There's no such thing as perfect. We are human, there is no such thing as perfect. There's no perfect time to start. There's no perfect workout plan. There's no perfect diet. No, for a fact, you will make mistakes. You will have failures. You will have ups and downs. Life's a freaking roller coaster. But what I can promise you is that if you stick to it for long enough, you will see the results you want. If you can, in some way, shape, or form, stay on the right path, you will eventually get there. The only way to fail on this journey, to actually fail, is to give up. So even if you make a mistake, just get back on track. If you fall off for a week, get back on track. That is not failing. That is having a hiccup in the road, having a speed bump, but you're not failing. The only way you fail is to actually give up. So just know you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna face problems. You're gonna have struggles and that's okay. We are human. So stick to the plan. Know you'll make mistakes and just don't give up. Do not give up because you can and you will get there eventually. And the last piece of advice that I wish I knew sooner was to realize and to understand that everyone has their opinions. Your aunt, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your cousin, your brother, your sister, everyone's going to tell you, oh, you should do this. Oh, you should try that. Oh, you should have done it this way. Oh, I heard this guy did it this way and it worked for him. Oh, this girl, her friend did it and she saw these results. Don't get distracted. Don't get confused. Don't think that whatever they did is gonna work for you. 
you're human. Everyone is different. So don't try to do the exact same thing that your friend Sherry did. Don't do the exact same thing your friend Charles did. Everyone is different. And so what works for you may not work for someone else and vice versa. So what you need to know is don't be confused by other people's opinions. Do your own homework. Find what you enjoy. Find what works for you. And you have to do that through trial and error. You have to make mistakes. You have to have failures. You have to do things you don't enjoy at some points in time. You have to try things to figure out what you do enjoy, what you do and don't want to do. And once you find that thing that you do enjoy, stick to it for a long period of time. And if you can take these three pieces of advice and implement them into your journey, I think the likelihood of you actually seeing results is much, much higher. So I hope today's video was helpful for you. I hope you got some value out of it. And I hope to see you on the next one. I'll talk to you later. Peace.